Hi, welcome to a video tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use the solid state relay uh, with Arduino and also without Arduino to control an AC load. You can get the code for this project by clicking at the link in the description below, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. So the question is why we use this bulky big thing while we can use this small solid state relay or maybe this module that's already built in or maybe just use regular 5 volts relay. The answer is that this huge big size is for higher current. This is rated with 40 so you will see SSR 25 and you will see SSR 30 and different ratings and that rating reflects the amount of current that it can handle to control an AC load. So for that reason, this cannot do it. This can go up to 2 amperes, so you can go up to 400 watts. So ampere multiplied by the voltage that you're using will give you the power. Or the same way, this is the same thing except that the module. So this is 10 ampere. So 10 times 220, around 2800 watts. So that, but this one is 40, so it's 220 volts. So 40 times 220 you are getting 8.8 .8 kilowatt, 8,800 watts. So huge air conditioner can be controlled or any other load that you want. For that reason, we are using this big bulky uh, solid state relay. So let me explain the AC bulb here. So this is a table light fitted to the wall outlet and the wire goes and will be turned on. But I have disconnected one of these two wires here I've just cut this wire from here. Now this can be connected to the uh, relay. The relay job is to just connect it. So it will be on and disconnected it will be off. I've just twisted them and then put some solder so this can be inserted into a connector with a screw. In many countries, the AC plug is similar to this. So you can insert it this way or you can insert it that way. So it doesn't matter. For that reason, you will not be able to identify the live wire and it will make it much dangerous working with that project so be careful and do not touch the project once it's connected to ac here i'm this is now disconnected here i'm explaining the wiring the two wires that i showed you for the the ac load will be connected in these two you just un unscrew it and then insert your wire on this side that is clearly labeled as ac uh, pin 1 and pin 2. So 3 and 4 is here. So I've connected this negative, this orange connected to the ground. And then the plus is connected to pin 8. The length of this device is 62.2 millimeter and the depth is 23.1 millimeter. If you want to know the weight, 86.7 gram so to demonstrate it, that you do need an Arduino and also in order to control so this is the input ground is connected to this ground of my power supply and then this wire which is the plus is connected here I've connected a voltmeter for you to show you that this is now 12 volts and now if I turn this off this connected this is a bulb, the light is from here, so also the light will turn off, so it will turn off. Now let's try different voltages. Here it says up to 32 volts, so I can increase the voltage. And it will work, so let's go down. At 15 volts, still it works, you see. So the rating here they say is 3 volts, 3 to 32, and now we have 2.67. Let me disconnect it. So it can work up to 2.67. I can go lower, but uh, this will not turn on, but let me see. Now the voltage is 1.7. This doesn't show, but mo I can... As you can see, 1.85 works. So now let me reduce the voltage. 
1.5, off, 1.7 even works, 7.5 and above. So here is a demonstration of the code. As you can see here, the light will go on and off, and also the code shows that when relay is on, you see this is on, and when the relay is off, this is off. So you, you can clearly use the code to control something very heavy. So this was just a simple demonstration, so you can control air conditioner or any other load just uh, to consider 40 ampere or whatever is the rating of your solid state relay. Let me explain the code. So initially we are just assigning a pin for a relay. So we say pin 8. I'm setting it pin 8, whatever pin you want between 2 to 13 in Arduino Uno or Arduino Mega, you can go higher. So set the pin here and then inside the setup we are setting the communication that is for uh, to display the um, serial monitor. So this must match the value that you have. So this value that you are using must match this value that you have here. Otherwise you cannot see that. And then this is just a text because this is a setup from here to here. Everything will be initialized or used only once. So one time you will see this text and also we set the relay pin. This is as if I type here 8, pin 8 as an output. And after that this is the loop which starts from here to here. This portion is to turn the switch on or the relay on and this is to turn it off. Then we say here digital write, this is writing a value to the pin, pin 8, relay pin, and we set it as high. So this will set high and the relay will be on, the load will be connected and also this text is displayed on the serial monitor. And then we wait for 2000 milliseconds or a 2 seconds. So for two seconds the light will be on and after that we set the pen to low which the light will be off the text will be displayed as well and then we wait for two seconds so this low doesn't work or this high doesn't work unless you put a time here because it will go very quick so when it's low and we say wait for two seconds and then we're uh, high when it's low as well we wait two seconds and then the loop goes and comes back and turns it on so if you're controlling a load or something based on some condition, here you can, let's say, if you have a temperature or uh, you're controlling a temperature, let's say temperature is a variable TEMP, and you say F TEMP is bigger than mm, 34 degrees, then turn on, and then here I just put it. So then turn on the relay, and other otherwise it will be always off it just goes and goes and if this is not true it just keeps it off or you can also put a condition here else and then if it's not true you can put that without this else also it works so my point was that he, this way you can control and do whatever you want with controlling that AC load with the solid state relay this introduction to this solid state relay controlling AC uh, load thank you for watching please thumb up the video please also share and subscribe to get updates of my upcoming videos